Good day everyone and welcome to Home at the Hollow. My name is Glennis and welcome to my very humble kitchen. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. If you are new here and I have a lot of new subscribers and I want to thank each and every one of you so, so much. But if you've just happened upon my channel, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment below so we can grow this channel together. And if you are returning, well, thank you. you you all are so appreciated so much. But today's recipe is one for our four-legged friends. Now, I don't have a dog myself. My neighbor has a new puppy. And, and with all that puppy funness, you know. But I thought, you know, wouldn't it be nice to be able to make Jack's something really nice? You know, just as a little bit of a surprise. Um, so I made these little dog, these little dog biscuits. This was so much fun. A handful of ingredients, a little bit of time. And now I made, made most uh, three quarters of them this shape. I did find a really small cookie cutter <laughs> and made them like this, but they are so good. But you know what? Ah, don't take my word for it. Stay to the end of the video and we will see if Jax likes his new treats. And without further ado, um, Glennis is simply homemade dog biscuits. So I'm going to get started really quickly with my ingredients. And I wanted to show you this. They're so cute. Uh, on a recent trip to Gatlinburg, I found these little little cookie cutters and my neighbor has a new puppy who's about 12, 13 weeks old now. And um, I just thought it would be nice to make him some homemade treats. I know he has some treats there, but we're gonna make him something hopefully he'll like too. I'm gonna go through as quickly as possible. I'm gonna add just a pinch and I mean just a an eighth of a teaspoon or less of a little bit of cinnamon, a third of a cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of wheat germ, one tablespoon of honey, one cup of whole wheat flour, a half a cup of mashed banana, and I have an egg white here that I have whisked a little bit, and this is for brushing on the, the cookies before they bake. But, you know, really quickly, I'm going to get started and move this aside. Let's see if I can. <laughs> My peanut butter. He is the cutest. I think he's like a, uh, like a border collie. Oh, my goodness. He is so cute. He's adorable. Peanut butter. Honey. If my honey will... Actually, it's kind of, weather has turned cool, and I'm really happy about that. A little bit of honey, my wheat germ, and the banana. And get this mixed up. And then we'll add whole wheat flour. And I'm, I've am i got my, my cutting board here and my rolling pin to roll this out to about a quarter of an inch thick. Anything thicker um, and your, your, your dog biscuits aren't going to dry up and bake the way that they should. And a cup of flour <laughs> going everywhere. And I'm going to get this mixed up and rolled out. So what I eventually had to do, y'all, is I had to get my hands actually in the bowl. And because I used a fork, I used <laughs> several different utensils. But sometimes your hands are just the best. Now this is going to be a little crumbly. I did put a little bit of whole wheat flour on here to keep this from sticking. 
and I've got my egg white whipped up and my brush ready and I'll We'll get my cutters ready, but I'm gonna get this rolled out to about a quarter of an inch thick. I've rolled this out to a, about a quarter of an inch, and yes, I absolutely did measure it. Um, I'm not really sure about frosting these. That would be, you know, okay for a dog or a puppy to have. I'm gonna have to research that a little bit more. I have made cat treats before, not ever with any kind of frosting on it, but it's really cute. So I'm gonna kind of have to figure that out. I know that this, I think you can see, is gonna be way big for a cookie for a puppy, but I think that my neighbor's gonna not have too much trouble uh, making it out. And of course, a little bone. How cute. How cute is that? And I'm not having any problem with them sticking, or that one anyway. Um, oh, that one broke. I don't think that, he, that Jax is going to mind. I don't think he'll mind. I think I'm going to leave it with the bones. And it could because they seem to cut out a little bit better and a little bit easier. And, you know, more than likely, I would never give this whole thing to a puppy. <laughs> That's a lot of treat. But uh, I actually did taste it. I really did before it's baked. Of course, there's no eggs in it yet. But I did taste it, and you could definitely taste the peanut butter and just slight of the banana. Of course, I'm sure a dog's palate might be more, <laughs> more refined than mine, but um, yeah, this this is gonna be cute. I actually uh, gifted my neighbor some of the apple cider bread, and he, he just, of course, I think he really liked it. My neighbor doesn't like anything too sweet, and, you know, I just told him, I said, just give it a try. Just give it a try. And by golly, this morning, I heard back, and he gave me a big thumbs up. So I'm glad he at least tried it. Because I have offered him cakes and cookies and pies, and he has absolutely, totally turned me down. <laughs> He's And, he, you know, he tells me I just don't like sweets, so... But we're going to put this on our baking sheet. I've already whipped up the egg white. It's just one egg white. And that makes a pretty good amount. Plus, I have this one that is broken. And I think that I probably will have enough for, you know, at least a couple more. So I did roll everything out except for just you know, a very little bit right here, and I might just roll it out and just make it just something, <laughs> something nondescript, because I don't think Jax is going to really care, but anyway, I've got my egg white already whipped up, and this is how many I got out of this particular recipe. I probably could have rolled them a little bit thinner, but, you know, the, the trick is to get them in the oven and baked, but dried. I'm just going to brush them very lightly. And bake these at 300 degrees for at least 30 minutes. Now, I have made cat treats before, but it's been a long time since I've made a cat treat. And then, of course, in my cookbook, I do have another variation of this, but I seem to always have very, very ripe bananas in my freezer. And I use wheat, wheat germ uh, to go in my homemade granola, my Simply Homemade Granola that I used to make for the end, oh my goodness, at least once a week. So, you know, it's... It, these are ingredients that I really had on hand. So, and I'm sure Jax is gonna love it. 
I'm sure he will. He gets so excited. He gets so very excited. And uh, I actually had a toy here for a dog <laughs> uh, that I bought, you know, many, many years ago when I had a cat, oddly enough as that sounds. But he had this thing about squirrels. He just, squirrels just drove him crazy. Well, I bought him a, a stuffed, not, you know, it's like a, a doy, a, a dog toy squirrel. And he could have cared less <laughs> about it. I guess, you know, it just kind of sat there and moved. But uh, when my neighbor got this puppy, I took it over to him and he just took it, shook it, and, and just absolutely adored it. So I, I think what I'm going to have to do to, you know, kind of get him to burn off some of his puppy energy, I'm going to go and buy him a, like a, a ball or something. And so he can go outside and play fetch, but 300 degrees, 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And I hope that I'll give this a try. I'm going to what I'm going to do once they've cooled. Of course, I'm not going to see Jax right now because his dad has gone to work. But I will take this over and maybe a, a little bit of a video. Here you go, Jack. See, see if he will like it. Banana, peanut butter, a little bit of honey. It sounds good to me. And so what I've done is before I, I'm going to put it in the oven, I actually found a really teeny tiny cookie cutter back when the grandchildren were teeny tiny. But there, there you go. So I'm going to make a couple of teeny tiny little ones like this and then put it in the oven. Find out and see if Jax likes these cookies I made right. for him this morning. Look, look right here. Look right here. I think he's eating it. I think he's eating it. Good. They look like little bones. Cool. I, now he. Do you like it, Jax? I'm now. Is it good? Was it good? It? Okay. Okay. He likes it. Good. Good. Okay. There we go. Jax approved. Good meal.